Hello and welcome to 7F5R's weekly Instagram live where I, Stephanie Jennifer, am joined by Debbie New and Susan New and together, the three of us tangle together and uh, just hang out for about an hour, an hour and a half and you're welcome to join us with some paper and a pen And Susan, you should be joining us as well. Hi, Debbie. Hi. <laughs> you of a moment, me? I was like, yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Trying to get my camera to sort of switch over. Yes, Susan should be joining us. There we go. So we have all of the members of Team 7FRR, well, the Zentango teachers within the team are here today. So that's great. Last week was terrible with all of the um, technical issues. So we're very happy that everyone can join. Give us some time to set up. Hello to everyone who's just joining us. If you'd like to tangle along with us, you can grab a tile and some pens and uh, maybe a pencil. And then we'll be tangling together this week um, usually for these, these uh, live sessions, we usually focus on the team challenges within uh, 7F5R Challenge. You can find the group on Facebook, uh, 7F5R Challenge, or you can just go to this link that I'm pointing to on screen and you'll be able to look at all of the wonderful tiles that everyone create, creates uh, every week. Yeah, but this is the last week of the year, so... It's a yearly tradition where the last week is a free-for-all challenge where you can pick your own tangles. So this week's uh, live session is going to be a little different. There's no like specific tangle that we're focusing on. You can, of course, draw your own tangles. We have picked out a few tangles and Debbie has very nicely chosen a string for all of us. But yeah, first, let's all go through what materials we have well you guys set up too if you want to tangle along with us susan would you like to go first hello what tile what pen do you have i think hello. i stand by <laughs> i stand by the apprentice towel and also the <laughs> towel because I, I do not know what string we're going to do so i'll prepare to in case. okay <laughs> <laughs> okay and i also uh prepared the black and brown figma and I also stand by my some of my mm -hmm. uh, brush pen in green. Oh, so many stand by. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. stand by because today is free start, right? I think she's excited. I think she's very excited because she missed like two, right? I think. Yeah. Uh, how many yeah. do you miss? Two? I can't remember. One and a half. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. One, one and a half. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So today we are doing a bit. Uh, doing stuff a bit differently, right? So usually, uh, Stephanie prepares the questions, Susan prepares the string, and then usually, uh, I I have a a weekly tangle that's running in the challenge group. So we take turns to sort of uh, prepare stuff, um, so that it's not so difficult for any for either one of us. So um, like Steph has said. Uh, every year we, every year we have a, uh, a free for all challenge on the last Tuesday of every year. So we are at the last Tuesday of twenty twenty one. I hope everyone is uh, doing well. Um, I hope everyone is not party out. Um, you overeat, Steph. <laughs> I'm I'm okay. Yeah, still 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 good. Overeat <laughs> and then digested, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we had our team uh, tea and, well, lunch and tea yesterday. So I think mm. we're all, but I came home feeling really stuffed. I couldn't have, I couldn't have dinner last night. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I think I skipped dinner too. I skipped dinner with you too. It was just too full. <laughs> yeah, so actually, so today, uh, Steph and Susan will have uh, one tangle each. And then I chose... Um, I chose one tangle, but it, 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 it can actually be two tangles, actually. So it's a variant of both tangles. And um, 
I have my sketchbook with me. So I'm just going to show you uh, because we actually went through these two tangles in the year. Um, just, well, a couple of months ago, some of them. So I'll, I'll actually walk you through uh, my tangles later. But every one of us has actually prepared uh, organic tangles. So uh, feel free to hop in and then put in your own organic tangles or not. Um, I also have like a variety of cows here because, see, um, I've got a lot of, uh, so I've, I've got some spares from um, some of the projects that I'm working on and these are discard to be discarded. So I'm actually upcycling them for studio lives. Uh, this was a this was a challenge I started, but I couldn't finish. So I'm just going to review some of the tiles. Um, I have a lot of white tiles with me, but I also have a grey and a pen. So I'll just actually see what uh, the other two ladies are doing, and then I'll make my decision. So Steph, yeah. what tiles do you have? Yeah, what tiles do I have? I have a tinted 7FIR tile. So these are on studio tiles. If uh, you've ever joined the CCT, CCT Artifacts Evo Detail event, you will have received some. They're really nice quality tiles to add watercolour or, in this case, Lindy's Gang Magicals. Yeah, so I'm using just something tinted, something slightly larger so they have more space to work with. Yeah, also fun. Yeah, basic tangling supplies, black pen, pencil. We'll see how it goes. Like Susan said, <laughs> today, today's class, a bit, we'll see how it goes kind of <laughs> situation going on. Yeah, if you're just joining us, we see you coming in. Uh, see you guys coming in and joining us. Please feel free to take out a, a tile and a pen and we'll be tangling together for about the next hour, hour and a half. Yeah. Or so, even a sketchbook. Yeah. yeah, even a sketchbook page will yeah, be fine. Even a sketchbook too. will work. I think yeah, yeah. I might start out with a uh, white tile actually. And then I'm... Um, I'm not so sure about my zero one, but I have a zero five as well. So, so Susan, have you decided? Are you going on white? Do you want to see your string first? <laughs> oh, I, I want to see the yes. Well, <laughs> today's string is not really, really a string, as in you know the four corner dots sort of uh, thing. Um, I'm actually borrowing an idea from uh, Sandy Kelly Jones. So this was a. I'm going to hold it up. I'm not sure if you can see it. Am I holding too long? Can you see? So this was a tile that um, I created uh, following Sandy Kelly Jones' uh, Today's Tangles Challenge. Um, basically, the string is only uh, two lines. Can you see the... This is called uh, the Tucker concept in the tangle, where it's like a... It's like a... You know, it's sort of like a layer in the paper because you have uh, everything coming out from under um, under the tucker. Does that make sense? So mm -hmm. we are going to... Um, I, like, I like this concept because it's very versatile. Uh, we're going to try out uh, this concept today just for fun. Um, you might want to have a square tile, but I actually started uh, something on a 10-5 on a tile. You can see the size difference, right? Uh, and I think both will work, actually. It can even work on a round tile. So it doesn't matter. Uh, it, can, it can also be your sketchbook. It doesn't matter whatever you choose. So maybe, Susan, you want to make that a mine now? It, it doesn't matter, actually. Both are square tiles that I see you have. I think, I think both are quite good to use. Um, I think I'll be going with the apprentice tile, so the apprentice tile size, and uh, I have I have a bunch of uh, different mediums with me. Here. Let me just show you. Can you see? Maybe yeah, so I prepared that I have, I have a big. Well, I I didn't know what color I'm going to use, right? I mean the paper. <laughs> so I have like a bunch of things with me, and also Steph gave me a pack of combos. Yeah. And then I also have Very my toys. Yeah. And I have a uh, a twelve uh, pack of Derwent Intense uh, color pencils, or rather ink pencils, um, and we'll see how we do for colors. So I think Steph has a, a very nice house, but mine is black and white, so I can actually have a twice later what I want to use in terms of color. So um, with the Tucker string, um, the plan is to start um, with uh, organic tangles. Um, to sort of create a kind of like a 
a kind of like a very uh, a buccaneer or a bouquet, right? So I thought this was pretty. And um, on this towel, I think that was my cat. Sorry. He's walking around uh, squeaking. Yeah. So this towel has a bit of a variation on pork leaf and flux and also a very curvy vertigo. Um, Steph, are you panicking yet? <laughs> yeah, man. I'm thinking like, Why are you panicking? <laughs> how, to, how to squeeze a mind is like... <laughs> yeah, so they both pick their tangles not knowing what this thing it will be. So uh, it will be pretty fun to see how uh, they adapt to this idea. So Susan, what tangle are we doing today for you? Oh, so am I the one who starts the tangle? Well, either you or because that, right? <laughs> because I have I have two tangles in my mind. I haven't made the decision yet. <laughs> so, okay. So Steph, you want to start? Oh, that one, ah. Well, okay, okay, I, I start. Okay, I start. I start. Yeah, yeah. I start. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So, um, like I mentioned, so I have a lot of I have a lot of stuff on my get on my desk. Um, I have my uh, sketchbook with me, uh, and this sketchbook is the one that I sorry that that I use for um, tea and tangle. So I run this challenge through this sketchbook, and over the years, I've collected a few sketchbooks uh, just by running. Sorry, it's kind of windy here, so I'm like preventing everything from flying. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so I have um, step outs in my sketchbook uh, that. Um, I would like to share. And this is a sketchbook that uh, has taken me through the past few months, uh, P and Tango and some of my classes. So the tangles that I would like to show today are Catch Me and Moonberry. So you can um, you can either call it Catch Me Moonberries or Catch Moonberries or, well, something along the lines because I'm going to merge both of them. So we're going to play with Catch Me. That's Catch Me. Uh, it's a tangle by Emma Major in the UK. Our friend Emma Major and also Moonberry. So this is Moonberry. Um, don't worry about not catching the step outs. I'll probably uh, do a quick uh, demo as well. So starting out with Catch Me. Catch Me um, starts out. Can you see? Uh, okay, let me try and hold it this way. Yeah. So Catch Me starts out with three orbs and then a blob and then some details and then more blobs and then more details. So it's really a very easy tangle uh, to personalize. So I'm going to show you uh, a little bit uh, of how I'm going to do my uh, Catch Me variant. I'm trying to go, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and zoom in. I hope it doesn't crash the whole thing. Very high. Ah, uh, there we go. So on the back of a towel, uh, basically, Catch Me starts out with three orbs, like I said. So you want them uh, in a cluster, and you can also draw them a little bit behind. Am I, am I all right? Can you see? Okay. So that's 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 the three orbs, and I'm gonna add the blobs now. So the blobs. So for three ops and then three blobs. And then you can sort of uh, add your embellishments to that. So this is Catch Me by Emma Major. Catch Me. Right. So Moonberry is up next. Uh, Moonberry also starts with an op. You can also draw several ops. And Moonberry has like a little star or a little flower. And an aura. So that's Moonberry for you. You can sort of vary up, like maybe draw four or three uh, petals. Or play with the auras. So this is Moonberry. Moonberry. And how do I merge them both? So do you start to, can you start to see uh, some? Similarities between both angles. Both are very round, right? <laughs> Ops and blobs. They rhyme, Steph.
So starting with the three orbs, when you catch me, I'm changing them up to become moon berries. And then I drew a bit uh, large here, so I'm kind of like a bit uh, cramped up, but we'll see what we can do as we go. So I have the three orbs, right? And now for the blobs. So the blobs, because I drew so big, I have to do them large, draw them larger here. So kind of something like that. And I have to go out of the page now because I don't really have space for it. So catch me, Mulberry. And then adding embellishments. I think yours might look nicer than mine. Mine is like kind of like too big. <laughs> Alright, so you can add more embellishments later. This is just roughly how it looks like. Right. So I mentioned something about the string just now, which is actually um, a Zentangle concept called Tucker. So this is how it's spelled. P oops. My pen is kind of dying on me. P U C K E R. Right? So it's a, a concept by Zentangle. So basically it teaches you how to draw um, layers in your in your art. Let me get rid of this pen. I might need another pen. How are we, Susan and Steph? Lost yet? Hello. Sorry, I was muted. Yeah, I say I'm yeah. stressed. Yeah, so I, I realized that I'm, I was the only one talking before. Steph, did no, but you I didn't say, anything say earlier. I didn't say no. I didn't think like fully. I was I was more of a. There are lots of people joining us in chat. Thank you so much for joining us. If um, you're joining us live, do let us know where you're connecting from. Someone said that they're connecting from Lebanon. And there's another person from Washington, USA. Thank you so much for joining us, wherever you are. Okay, so I'm starting... Us. Oops, yeah. sorry. No worries. I'm starting uh, the string. So I'm actually going down with pen already. Unlike a normal, you know, when we start out, we start out with pencil. Oh, sorry, I was off camera. Let me zoom out again. Yeah. So, um, kind of tricky uh, being zoomed in and out. Right, so... Normally when uh, we put down a pencil string, uh, usually it's supposed to kind of uh, disappear into the overall picture. But for um, the tucker, you want it to actually stand out. So I would advise that you use um, um, an, an ink pen just to create. Uh, if you're not using a micron, any fine liner will do actually. So you basically just want to create um, a layer in your towel. Right, so something like that, right? And you can actually draw a, a white seat if you want as well, Steph. Mm. Right? Yeah, that's yeah, what I was thinking kind of, actually. Kind of like the concept. Occurred, yeah. yeah. Mm. So Maria uh, Thomas usually does many layers in her art, and that was how uh, the white seat concept was uh, created, basically. I just kind of like copied her style, and because I had to teach it, I had to name it. So so that it was easier for people to understand what I was saying. If not, it would be like, draw this line, draw that line, and which line after a while, right? So, yeah. So that's your tucker concept. Basically, you can start out, um, you can even tuck in a towel, actually, uh, here, you know, kind of like a what seats towel, and it can be any shape. But um, for today, because um, all the tangles that we picked were organic, so we're going to draw a little buttonier or a little bouquet, um, just to sort of bid 2021 farewell and good riddance. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm going to, because I started out with a very um, bombastic tangle, right? Like, huge. Um, I, might, I might put down uh, my Catch Me and my Moonberry first so that I can sort of fill up the spaces around uh, them so that they kind of look like they are above. So whatever you want uh, to look like um, they are a layer higher, then you should actually put them uh, down earlier. So I'm just going to put down three orbs, uh, like in Catch Me. 
I actually I haven't told Emma that we are featuring uh, Catch Me Again today. So it'll be a nice surprise for her. Susan, ah. Yes. What tangle are you using today? She hasn't decided, right? I thought. Right, yeah, I, think yeah. I will use the, the Zora Deer. Zora Deer, yeah, okay, good. Yes. Um, to answer the question that was asked in chat, yeah, the tangle above is actually a Mayan, so I chose a Mayan for today, but uh, then I have to also fill in Zora Deer. Susan, Susan, I think you're a bit soft. Yeah, um, Susan, Susan, yeah, kind of, a bit soft. Okay. Susan, do you want to do the step outs for Zora dear? So that the sheet uh, information sheet will be complete. Wait, wait is my voice okay now? It's a bit soft. I agree. With it's too soft. Okay, Debbie. I my ear. Wait, let me see if it's my volume. Uh, I don't think yeah, so. How do I? Debbie, you're, you're coming in clear for me. Okay, how about now? Ah, much better. Good. Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Just I'm using the, the Bluetooth earpiece. So now it's using the wire. Throw away. Okay. Wire Throw away. <laughs> mm. Zora yeah. Okay. Dear. Zora dear. Okay, for the Zora dear, actually, it's a new tangle that mm. uh, I deconstructed uh, recently or uh, in October when we go to the uh, Botanic Gardens in Singapore. Okay, this is something like, uh, okay, I did more for the step out first. I'll start with a U, then a second U, but you'll follow like the oral, the technique. Okay, and I like to uh, change, sometimes I like to change the length of the line or maybe the direction of the oral to make it more organic. Okay, so this is a step one. Then you put a round head, like the, let me see. Uh, okay, around on the tip of it. Okay. Then oh, it if you like want. Tira. Tira. <laughs> okay, um, Actually I, I I when yeah. yeah, you say? Our friend Jan Miller has a tangle that starts out like that as well. It's called T I R A T R A. T I R A mm. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, later I'll go and but find she's it. actually currently I, I wanted to feature it this week. Um, but she's actually rejigging her, her website, I think, for it. So oh, she asked okay. me not to feature today, so I didn't. Okay, so I found the cousin for this one. Yeah, the cousin. <laughs> <laughs> the cousin. <laughs> okay, so I, somehow I would like to add some uh, embellishment to like era to make it with small 3D effect. It is up to you whether you want to do that. Okay. Then I will like close it with a curve. This is the Zora idea. Somehow I would like to make it like double layer. So it is okay that you have the second layer that draw behind. Then it will uh, give you more kind of uh, the depth of the, the picture, the drawing. Yeah. Susan, okay. you should tell us why you chose this name. Why, what, what does Zora dear mean? Stupid name, I think. I, okay, because I think uh, when I do the name of this, I found that this kind of uh, the feature is like the deer. You know the, the Rudolph? There's two, oh. this kind of thing. Oh. Mm. This is over already. <laughs> yeah, but this one is the uh, about. <laughs> So, Zora is something I just, uh, uh, anyhow, get a name. Yo, so, anyhow, get mm, a name. Actually, by, by giving a name for the tango, is very difficult, you know. I know. What we, what, what we call you very, <laughs> like what we call is very sound now, like burning the brain. <laughs> Brainstorming, yeah, sound now. In the Chinese, what we like to say. The hey, brain overheated. So yes, overheated. I have, I have to think of so many. Was charge money. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. I still owe you for all this naming. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Then the last I don't, tangle. I don't oh, sorry, really go ahead. find it to be sound now, lah. Sound now. So yeah, I don't really find it to be sound now. It doesn't. It doesn't uh, hurt me that badly. 
我给你，烫脑。It will act, act, activate、oh. our brain cell so that it won't get so、uh, getting old so fast. So funny, yo. 烫脑 sounds like your your brain has to fully cook. 嗯 ，soup， 呀 ，soup brain， brain soup， okay， so that's tang， yo， okay， okay， let's not talk about food， okay， next， tang tang， we will learn a mayan， so a mayan is um， it starts out with a C shape first， then you have the little line， and then you have an inner C shape， then from here， we join it to this point。And then on the other side, we do a mirror image. So you can notice I'm not touching the edge of the C. Yeah. Then from here, we will connect it to the bottom point and do the same thing on the other side. Oh, yeah, so this, this is a Mayan. Hmm. You can, of course, like uh, Susan said, you can embellish the tangle however you want. You can, of course, have it as um. So if you draw the initial shape, right, kind of like um. Frondus. You can stack them into a linear kind of fashion, which I think would be helpful in today's string, with today's string. Pardon. In you can also string. actually yeah. there's nothing in the string. It's just yeah, then two lines. Yeah. Then the other way is you can draw in a radial format, like the one seen on this little. Oh, you can even do a Z with it. Do a zag with it. Yes, lots of different things that you can do, of which you can explore on your own. We will explore our own little little um tiles, and then we will see what kind of ideas we come up with. Has it rained in your side, Susan? Debbie, I think it's raining now. Yes, heavy rain. Yeah. For me, that was just why it was showering all my stuff. <laughs> like、uh, yeah, it's a bit weird day because. You have like um, it, I think it's very hot today actually, hotter than yesterday, and then you also have a bit of rain, so it's kind of strange. Yeah. Yeah. So for someone who's asking in chat, this is a Mayan. A Mayan named after my mother-in-law and A N A E N. Yeah. So hello, those who are just joining us, please pick up a tile. And a pen and tangle along with us. We're just hanging out and chilling. We've picked some、uh, tangles today. A bunch of tangles actually. So lots to choose from. You don't have to use all of them if you don't want to. You can just use some of them.、And、if you want to swap out、uh, the tangles for your own tangles, you can do so as well. And、uh, we invite you to join our Facebook group. Seven and five hour challenge. You can find it by、uh, typing the name, or you can go to this link, bit. dot ly slash fb seven and five hour. Yeah. And then, the account that I'm currently using, I'm Stephanie, Stephanie Jennifer. The account that I'm currently using is ah seven and five hours. Instagram account Seven Forest Five Rivers. A recording of this session will also be made available on that account. Debbie is Tangled Dot Pursuit. Susan is Susan Yeo Dot Czt, and my personal account is Headpen Underscore Will Draw. Yeah. So please post your tile in the group, or if you post on your tile on Instagram, please tag us. We'd love to see what you've created with us. And then just to、uh, refresh, we're using a tucker string. So it's just kind of two lines, and then have some tangles going behind that little two lines, and then we're using a Mayan by me, Stephanie Jennifer, Catch Me by Emma Major, Moonberry by Debbie New, and Zora Dear by Susan New. Thank you so much for joining us. As we catch tangle and hang out, catch some moonberries. <laughs> okay, come. I have questions. I noticed yesterday, not yesterday, last week that、uh, I was running low on questions, so I went online and found a whole bunch of questions、oh, that we can we can chat chat about. Can we start、yeah. with Susan? Okay. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Suddenly Susan got technical problems. Ah,、uh, sorry, I'm breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> no, just keep it short. Okay, Susan, what what was the biggest lesson you learned this year? Biggest lesson,、mm. <laughs> we need to accept 
we need to accept the challenges come from the technical issue. <laughs> I do want to say, I'm complaining. Hey, it is, it is very true. Even in my own online classes, <laughs> at the very beginning, I keep disconnected from my, my Zoom and my Yo. student all inside. My student is all inside the meeting room and I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Then I'll need to WhatsApp one of them saying that, please tell the others that saying I'm coming soon in. So the second time, they will just chat uh, saying that teacher is missing again. Please wait for a while. Get a cup no. of drink. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is something that we need to upset. <laughs> you can't do anything. <laughs> mm. Dear Zoom CEO, what's going on? You made a lot. Dear, this is uh, Dear Instagram It's not a CEO, Zoom what's YouTube. going on? Yeah. yeah. So you write to them. Thank you. Yeah, man. <laughs> Then the bill are you? Uh, I think I'm still learning actually. I'm trying to sort of balance out my life so that I don't burn out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's something that uh, I think is the biggest lesson I have to learn this year. Uh, you know, so well, life is never easy, right? But then, if you can get enough rest, if you can keep uh, a good balance, kind of helps you along with life. I guess I'm still learning. I'm still juggling. Uh, it's been a tough year, tough going year. Yeah, but uh, hopefully next year will be a lot better. I can't wait to say goodbye to this year. So Good yeah, a bit, yeah, a bit done with this year already. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. In terms of specific lessons, no lah. But yeah, just just. And to keep on jumping, you know, without burning out. I actually put Zora Dia uh, on to catch me Moonberry. So it's a uh, Zora Dia meets Moonberry meets catch me <laughs> on a stalk. On a stalk. Yeah, on a stalk. It's not in a stalk. It's on a stalk now. Oh, mm. Yeah. Answer your question, Steph. Your own question. Biggest lesson. Mm. That communication is difficult. No. That How is that, that a lesson? That clear is communication is difficult. So I need to make sure that what I mean and what other people hear is correct. It's the same same. Because sometimes I think like I don't know. I have this concept that people can read my mind or something. <laughs> yeah, Debbie is quite quite good with um figuring out what I mean. But I think Hello, I basically, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like this past year, she she has refused to fill in the gaps. So I have been forced to be very specific with what I say. Like was so it last week? We know each other. Last week, if you had see. if you had. Thousand dollars, what would you spend it on? And then Debbie, in, in all her humor, <laughs> said, I have a thousand dollars. So, no, see, you know, see, we know each other too well, you see. Yeah. Right? But then we tend to forget spoil. that other people may not understand, yeah. you know, what yeah. we are trying to say. Mm. Yeah. And then you expect uh, people to know. Other people. Mm. Yeah. I think, especially now that there, there's, it's not just Debbie. And then, you know, is there Susan also? So Susan cannot learn how to speak Stephanie. So Stephanie has to learn how to speak proper English. <laughs> <laughs> And not assume that Susan can read Sound online. Now. Ah, yeah, <laughs> Sound now, yes. I agree. <laughs> yeah, so that was my biggest lesson. That I, I, I need to slowly improve my communication skills. Not slowly, as quickly as possible. Come on, Stephanie, you can do this. <laughs> not hard. I think it's not hard. I think it takes. Action. It's not hard. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think it's just for too long. I've had people who know me too well. So when I say something, then they sort of fill in the gaps, and it's, usually it's correct. So I sort of just became too comfortable with that. Yeah. So. I don't know whether anyone relates to that. But anyways, the next question is, what was your biggest <laughs> success this year? Wow, what was your biggest 
biggest success this year. Why, mm. why, why are you so uh, maximalist? Uh? Not the biggest why? lesson and then the biggest success oh. and then... Try to wrap up the year, ma. Then sort of, like, what's your highs and what is some lessons oh, that people can learn? Are we also going to talk about lows? Because I don't want to talk about lows. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I try to stay away from, like, uh, not, so, <laughs> not so nice topics. Susan, what was your biggest success? Overcoming the still technical thinking. issues. I'm still thinking about this one. Okay. Biggest success. Mm. Okay, for me, uh, biggest mm. success. I think just surviving through a pandemic is a success. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I mean, here, here. I, I, I mean, there are so many people who are so jaded, you know. Mm. Um, I mean, we had this conversation a couple of lives ago, right, where we were saying, you know, mental yeah. health. I mean, a couple yeah. of live sessions, you know, a couple of lives. <laughs> lives. Being a couple of lives ago. <laughs> many times. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean the studio, uh, SED is one uh, aspect of us not articulating properly, right? We expect you, you guys to know what I mean. No, yes. I mean, so basically a lot of people are, are very jaded with life now, uh, mm. in general. Um, it's just, it's, it's just like the pandemic just keeps going on and on, right? So I guess just being being around, being uh, mindful, you know, being connected to the people that you love actually is a major achievement in itself. Because um, I mean, how many of us want to run away, right? Mm. <laughs> you know, I mean, except we can't like, just kind of really fly out of the country, you know, as we like. Um, but how many of us really actually want to escape, right? And then it's kind of like uh, you know. Uh, you solve one thing and then another, another three things pop up, you know? So, mm. life is just uh, very non-linear, especially now. I mean, in, 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 in the past, uh, when I was growing up, you hear people saying things like, oh, you need to plan your next five years, you know? Here, mm. in, in, in 2021, you, you can't even plan five days sometimes. Mm. You know? Uh, so, so suddenly, something changes and then everything is in the air again. So, uh, when I say that, I mean, I, I'm thinking of uh, people in Germany with the floods and also uh, the floods in Malaysia. Malaysia. I mean, where, where, do you, where do you find um, a way to deal with this? I mean, we, we would never have imagined any of this uh, disruption, let alone the pandemic, right? And then let alone both coming at once, you know, uh, the pandemic as well as the floods, as well as all these other things. So... I think the biggest um, the biggest success is also like the most underrated. Like if mm. you just being here, like us just being here, us just uh, you know just sitting down talking and drawing together, is an achievement. You know, especially for some people who are depressed and everything, just making it through another day is an achievement. Mm. Wow, very quiet, right? Very oh, thinking, yeah, very serious. Yeah, but what, what you said rings true, I think. Some, some people, like, lost family members, lost their loved ones this year. A lot, so a lot of people. Yeah, so even just existing is, is a privilege in itself. Well, yeah. it keeps us mindful as to mm. how we live, right? Yeah. So, Susan, on that note, I got my answer. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, initially when I started for the online classes, mm. uh, I just think of that, okay, I just uh, have some classes for those who, who stay at home mm. due to the COVID for the, uh, in Malaysia, the MCO, like mm-hmm. in Singapore, the circuit breaker. Just that to, to let them have something different when they are at home. Then I found that uh, my students were asked uh, after on the last class, they will say, say okay, when's the next class? Then the one is something <laughs> that keep me... So the one is the, the one that keep me going on to, to, to have the online classes. Otherwise, I, I, I might just stop there. So, uh, somehow I'm quite grateful that they asked me for that. So it keep me keep going, to make mm. me keep going. Yeah. Then, in the end, after maybe one one year about... Uh, just since uh, 2020 until this year, 
Then I thought that actually, um, uh, some kind of is that I accompany them when they are in uh, forced to stay at home. Then mm. the other way is actually they are also accompanying me to to we we stay together to draw then to find a kind a, a way to make ourselves uh, mindfulness and also be uh, more calm in order to face this pandemic. Plus, there's mm. a, really a lot of changes. Some some students even feedback to me saying that uh, they feel very good that they able to meet Zentangle during this period to help them to overcome some of the stress or uh, mental issue. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I this one is something that I feel very grateful and also maybe in a sense that it's successful also. And in this is something that I will continue to do. Yeah. So as much as you help them, they also help you. Actually, I, I didn't think, think so much before when I do that, but just when times uh, until like this end of this year, I reflect and look back and think that actually it is something that we did, we did something good without uh, uh, we, we aware of it. Intention, uh, we, yeah. We don't know. Yes. It's nice. I think for us, right, um, that's how this life, uh, studio life started as well because we... We don't have a time where the team just sits down and you know sort of talk mm. and then uh start start to tangle right and then we actually learn a lot about each other at this at, at these sessions um mm. as well you know and I think that you know you know a couple of weeks ago when I said that oh we've already done ten you know like the whole team was so shocked like ah huh, ten really yeah, you know like wow you know it sounds like a, a huge commitment to to do this once a, a week, especially in the middle of the week, right? Uh, it's a huge commitment on everyone's part. But I think slowly and gradually, we kind of enjoyed it. And then it seems like it's here to stay. So, haha, you are stuck with us. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, if, if you are just joining us, these casual tangling sessions usually feature one tangle, but because this week is a free-for-all challenge, so we've picked out a few tangles that we like. That we picked out uh, Catch Me by Emma Major and one of her tangles, Moonberry. Susan picked Zora Deer and I picked Amayan, both for our, our own tangles. Actually, yeah, I didn't but... really want to pick my own tangle, but it just well, kind of felt like Moonberry would fit Catch Me, and then yeah, yeah. it just started out from there. Yeah. So I wasn't Maybe. actually intentional. It wasn't intentional. I think I think Susan and I were intentional though. Yeah, I mm-hmm. think so. Yeah. So if you're you're just joining us, yeah, hang out with us. Tango along with us if you want. You can get to post your tile, your finished tile in our group, seven and five hour challenge or on Facebook. You can also follow this link, bit.ly slash F D seven and five R. Uh, next week will be probably Debbie. Can you confirm? Will be featuring the F Y I C challenge. F Y N. That's two words. F Y I C twenty twenty two. Cause challenge is already in its word. The C in F Y I C challenge. Yeah. Yeah. So next yeah. next week, um, we will kick off uh twenty twenty two with a thirty one day uh Zentangle challenge. So it's a free to join uh challenge, where we explore fragments. So fragments uh, uh, and reticular are a Zen tangle concept. Um, they are not a new concept actually. I think mm. it's been around for a few years now. But because um, the concept actually uh, arrived much later than the initial Zen tangle method itself, a lot of uh, CCTs um, tend not to teach uh, fragments and reticular um, until recently, I guess, like um, probably like last year, I think. So a lot of it uh, is kind of me being um, exploratory for myself as well, because I don't use uh, frag- fragments as much as I uh, would like in my art. I'm more uh, kind of an organic sort of, um, well, I, I, I gravitate towards organic tangles. So um, having a, having, having, 
a challenge that takes 31 days to complete uh, gives me the chance to explore different fragments and how they come together, you know, and it kind of uh, allows me the opportunity to sort of feature my fellow CZTs as well. So a lot of uh, the fragments inside uh, the handout, uh, I think there are 55 of them actually. A lot of them were contributed by other CZTs as well, um, as well as our team, as, uh, of course. And of course, um, we kind of seek inspiration everywhere we go. So we kind of uh, try to create something new every year. And this year, um, if you happen to donate uh, to our Kofi or my Kofi, donate through my Kofi or some other, some other uh, member of the team's Kofi, you will actually um, get a free tutorial uh, that shows you how to create a five-pound project. Perhaps I will show the actual project uh, on one of the coming lives, but I think to do it now will be like spoiling the whole surprise. So I'll hang on for a little bit more. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's the next thing on the blog for us. Yeah, and, and Debbie, if I want to download the handout, where, where can I find it? Um, okay, so the easiest way to download the handout is to kind of go to my uh, profile or the studio's profile on Instagram. Mm. Uh, I have a cake link that um, actually allows me to put in different buttons. So on my cake link, that's Tangle Pursuit's cake link, you can actually click on the first button and it'll take you right to our landing page. If you are going in through uh, 7F5R, I think it's a tap link. Mm. Yeah, so through the tap link on 7F5R. Um, either way, it's still the same. So I don't think there's a big difference. So um, currently from the statistics, uh, it looks like 2,000 people have actually downloaded uh, Wow. The handouts. Yep. So, I'm not sure if everyone will be on social media though. But that's yeah, that's, yeah, that's a very lot. shy. Oh, that that sparks a uh, another topic of discussion. I I I mean, uh, some other Facebook groups. I mean, a uh, gouache painting uh, Facebook group, and there's this person who posted this um very. She she said that she was a beginner lah. So it's a very simple drawing of a potted plant. She says, I feel a bit, even a bit embarrassed to post this artwork on here because you guys draw such beautiful artworks. But she said, we all start somewhere. And then there were these comments, you know, saying that, oh, you know, your, your work is beautiful. You don't have to be embarrassed, you know. Do you think that that's true across like all artistic media that a lot of beginners, they feel like kind of spooked? post their art online because they're like, wow, such pretty artworks. Huh? Mine, mine very shame, shame. <laughs> then they don't post. So it creates like this weird, I don't know, this weird cycle of all these beginners just not wanting to post. I think it's a post. momentum thing because once you mm -hmm. start, right, uh, once you get comfortable, then it gets easier the next time around. Mm. Yeah. Do you think a lot of it is like their own like psychological fear actually it's like the art is quite it's like perfectly fine but it's just they tell themselves my art very ugly mm, I think it's more like the adults told them so when they were growing up mm. because that's what happened with me as well so never expected to be a CZT never expected mm. to be an artist of any sort actually Susan your Zora mm? dear also reminds me of Stack Horn yeah, I think this is the one that I <laughs> draw your stack on, right? <laughs> she, she, she I think there's a, another, I think there's, there's another uh, Zentanga official patterns. I can't oh, remember oh. the name. Huh? Is it uh, something like this one? Q-U-A-B-O-G, Quabo. Ah, is it? Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. Right. So mm. when, when I draw it, I have to feel like questionable. Mm. Mm. So Actually, yeah, I don't know how to complete this, man. I have like a gap here, so I've been I've been like stalling because of that. <laughs> Sorry, continue, please. Susan, do you have students that tell you, "Oh, my drawing very ugly"? Yes, a lot of students they will 
very shy and say that I don't want to pose it because we have mm-hmm. a group that I ask them to pose your drawing. They say, I'm so shy. I'm, very, I'm just a beginner. All their drawings are so nice. I'm so shy to pose it. I say, just pose it. You have to, to step out your first step to to share your drawing. Then, uh, even though you are a beginner, somehow it will have something that other people can learn from you. Mm-hmm. Because our drawing have our own uh, different style. And you might feel that it is very normal or very ugly. But from other eyes, they might see the uniqueness of that. And it's something that they can learn. Mm. I think also when one beginner starts posting their art, then it encourages other beginners to also join. Yeah, I agree. Because then you feel you feel like not so shy, right? Because this person also posts, this person also a beginner. It's also a momentum thing, like I said, I guess. So when one person uh, you know, has a positive reaction, right, it's a very powerful thing, you know, because it's affirming. To say like, they think like it's very ugly, then they post and people say, no, it's very nice. You know, got this part that I like, that part that I like. Then you're like, oh, okay, I didn't, I didn't see it that way. Okay, I'm going to see what you guys are doing. Do you want to talk about your art a little bit? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, go away. <laughs> hey, you haven't told us what's your biggest success, you know? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah see, um, see, this is how she cheats her way through life, I tell you. Seriously, oh. this woman. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest success. I think Thank You Fix Sales this month was, was amazing. Thank you guys for your support, by the way. For anyone who's bought any of our Thank You Fix uh, classes. Yeah, you guys you guys blew us away. We had our Black Friday sales ending in a couple of days, right? Yeah. Ending in a couple of days. This is an infomercial or what? No, no, it's are not. You, it's are not. you sharing or? Yeah, sharing, sharing. Right? Yeah. You're Maybe sharing or sharing is a coupon. commercial? Sorry la, but like, you know, might as well just <laughs> let you all know. Alright. Yeah. So that was nice. And then Tango Travelog was also pretty good. We are working yeah, on a, it's se- a second show. series. It's not! <laughs> it's not! Okay, okay, fine. We're moving on to the next question. <laughs> Let's see. You mean you have no other successes? Cannot be, right? Hmm... I'm glad that I'm glad that we expanded. I'm glad that, that Susan joined our team. But I don't know whether I can like, attribute that to my own success. It's more of like I'm oh, glad that your success. Expanded. Yeah, like, I'm just saying in general. I'm glad that the team no. expanded. Susan, you see she bullied me? You see? This person is just Ayo, oh my goodness. Okay, come. It's true, it is true la. Also, um so <laughs> part of oh, the success, yeah. otherwise I won't be joining. <laughs> Okay, if there's yeah. something that I some some someone that I don't like, I didn't join. So I joined that means I like. <laughs> <laughs> you like us. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Acceptable. Mm-hmm. Welcome. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, my next question is do you collect anything? <laughs> I, I can go first. Anything. I can go first. Okay, you Sorry, go first. I got I got already answer. Actually I know what I you collect. collect already. I what do you I collect? Say it. You call oh, that surprise. No lah. <laughs> <laughs> that one is a given lah. Any art critics also to collect art surprise. Fair enough, fair enough. I collect, I collect stamps. I collect stamps and foreign coins. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. I collect stamps. It started from my mom actually. My mom started collection. Then she passed it on to me. So now in my home, I have this collection of stamps. New stamps lah. Because my mom would travel, she would travel to Switzerland, to France, different countries, and then she'll, she'll send out letters and all. And then her friends would also give her these stamps, so she, she passed her collection to me. And then also, uh, another thing that I collect is, you know, when you go to like. Um, is that why you started traveling Tangles? Because then you get all the stamps maybe. you want. Maybe, maybe. But oh. I don't like the common stamps. I like the nice, nice stamps. But then hey, one time, I got. I got. I, I got it's someone, not someone... their fault that they don't have the special stamp. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not scolding them. <laughs> yeah, but it's not <laughs> What do they call it? Oh the Forever USA stamps, right? Not so common. No, the one time someone sent me so this bad. holographic stamp. It's like you, you tilt it, huh? then the colour on the stamp would change. I was like, wow, so cool. Keep it in a special box. Yeah, so, so that's interesting. Yeah, another thing I collect is, you know, the... 
I don't know what they call it. Press press a penny. I don't know what they call it lah. But in in some uh tourist destinations, they have this machine where you put in some money. Then you can press this coin to a flat, uh, flat. What do you say? <laughs> it's a flat Talk surface, that. and then they imprint they imprint okay. like a nice design on it. Yeah, thank you very much. That is a nice token. Then you get to keep it like a little souvenir. Yeah. So I collect those. That's quite fun. How about you guys? On your, on your tucker, right? You can also embellish this area. You know? Just to pretend that there's some ribbon or something. So you don't oh, have to leave it completely costume. blank. Yeah, but I'm saying it's a, vari- a variation of it. Mm. I, I don't know why I'm so tongue-tied today. <laughs> but you don't have English. I think English. it's the muffin. Yo, why is it got to do with the muffin? <laughs> Too much sugar. Yesterday, yeah, Isaac, very cute. Muffin, <laughs> got a G at the end. Muffin, very cute. So, oh, so cute. Game. Susan got a little, yeah, that's nice. I like it. So, Susan also collect our supplies. Oh, <laughs> it's cute. Uh. Can, can, can I consider as collection? <laughs> Yeah, but it is, uh, but I, but but I think it is not good to make the art material as a collection because you you <laughs> wouldn't use it. Keep it, keep it too nice. Yeah, it yeah okay. It, it yeah, up. so cannot be a collection, right? <laughs> you can collect and then use it. Collect and use it. Yeah. Actually, I I. After you you ask this question, I tried to figure out, and I realized that I didn't collect anything for <laughs> this. I think ten years, maybe. But Last I time I know. collect, I collect stamps, but ah, you also now stamps. I collect stamps when I in school time. Then I just uh, keep it. Then when I do the uh, spring cleaning, I think few years ago. Then I asking my colleagues that uh, whether their their kids collect stamps. Then they say. No lah, this is old fashioned, old fashioned kind of Yo, thing. Yeah, so mm, okay. So yeah, then, then my mom told right? the, the, the point is yeah. That, oh, that's why you collect it, ma. If this is going yeah. out of fashion, that's why you collect, right? <laughs> yeah. So so end up my my yeah end up my mom told me that since no one won, then you just keep it then for your uh, future your kids as a ah, chuan, yeah, chuan yeah. Jia zi bao. Yes, yes. <laughs> so that one I think is. <laughs> so you become. So I think that, that that that. Yeah, that book is still still at my mom's place. That's nice. Mm. I know. So I don't have collect anything. I know. I know yeah, what you collect. What? You collect uh, toy cars. Hey, yo, toy cars. The one is not my collection. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. There's Isaac. <laughs> Susan, as uh, Susan, Debbie, what do you collect? Well, I used to collect. Uh. I actually used to collect a lot of things actually mm. at one point uh, at one point. So mm. when I was young, right, I'm not sure how it started or if it started with my mother. Actually I can't really remember because it's so long ago. Um so my mom was very sick when I was a child already. Um I think I was ten and then she was already uh very sick with cancer. So she had this bright idea to start a teddy bear collection for me, you know. So, mm. of course, very cute, lah, right? Very cute. Mm, and, of course, I love uh, the teddy bears. But after she passed on, uh, I just couldn't bring myself to look at the teddy bears anymore, you know? Mm. Yeah, so so it kind of became, like, uh, I memory. think I still have a couple of them, lah. I still have a couple I remember of you had them, that but... teddy bear drawing, was it? The painting? Yeah. yeah. So, that teddy bear drawing, right, was actually the last uh, birthday present that I ever got from my mom. Uh, on my 16th birthday and um, later on that year she actually passed on so in a way right um, I think after after that happened right I kind of like um, approach collections with a bit more caution you know because you know Mm. how we say that you know uh, material things don't last you know it's friendship it's family that lasts but for me it was the other way around and it was quite uh, a tragedy la, in, a, in a sense mm. you know because I kind of like um, have it in reverse you know <clears throat> like all these things outlast the person you know so mm. for a while it, it, it hit me very hard um, and then as I got older 
So I, I didn't collect a lot of things for a long time. Uh, and then and then I I I always have a very minimalist approach to a lot of things. And then suddenly when I was like in my twenties, probably late twenties, probably about your age there, suddenly mm. I felt the the strongest of all desires to start collecting stuff again. You know? Mm. So it took me a while to recover, I suppose. And then when I did recover, I started collecting miniatures. So one of the... I, I, I like uh, Japanese miniatures. So you have things like Remand. I don't know whether you've heard of it, Remand. Uh, they're like tiny figurines, you know, plastic uh, figurines, and they're very cute. Um, mm. And uh, I used to love uh, uh, taking photos of them because I used to... At that point in time, I used to be breeding uh, hamsters. So I used to breed hamsters for temperament. Uh and the babies are the same size or, you know, they, 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 they look so cute with the miniatures that I sort of went into photography because of that. I, I like macro photography. So then, uh, gradually, I started collecting um, raisin dolls. And at that point in time, uh, we were just married. So my husband and I were just married. And I thought that I could sort of... Uh, keep those dolls, which are actually limited edition uh, dolls, for our children. So mm. I also had some that I kept uh, for resale because, you know, the value goes up, right, uh, for limited edition stuff. So in a way, it's kind of like you collect and then you, you sell and the price is right. Of course, of course, I think I've sold, uh, I've sold quite a few, but I haven't sold all. So I have a few and then, uh, of course, Charlotte came along and then, of course, my niece came along. So probably uh, these dolls one day will be passed down to them. So it's kind of like a heirloom as well, uh, mm. in a way. But I think at the current state, um, Charlotte might be terrified of them. And uh, I'm not so sure about my other niece though. So my other niece is now into Barbie dolls. and um, like okay. Frozen dolls or, or what, mm -hmm. what you call them actually. Yeah, so that kind of dolls. But the kind of dolls that I collect are not uh, well, you can probably play with them, but they're not as durable as Barbie dolls now, and also can break mm. So I'm not going to give it to them. I mean, she's only five years old. I'm not going to give now, lah. You know, because I think they will suffer a lot of damage. So I have them uh sealed up, <coughs> and boxed up, uh, and stored up, uh, safely, and then when the time is right, probably pass them down or sell them. Yeah. So some of them um are rarer than others. Um, I think I told you about them before, right, Steph? Yeah, you did, you did. Yeah. I, I, so, I have a visual image in my head. Yeah, so in, in a way, in a way, I'm not a hoarder, so I don't really like having them around because I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I, I because by, by nature, I'm a minimalist, la, so I try to mm -mm. have like one of everything and that's it, you know, and then sort of like every, uh, item in the house has its uh, place to go. Does that make sense? Yeah, so I'm that kind of person. So for me, when I collect, right, I must have a purpose behind the collection. So for the remand, so the remand, I've actually rehomed a lot of my remand. I also had a Blythe doll at one point and I gave it to my friend in Canada. And then I also gave a couple of dolls away to my friend uh, in North Carolina. Yeah, so... A lot of these, um, yeah, quite some time back already, actually. I haven't mm. had the dolls out in a while as well, because uh, we're packing up to move soon. So, yeah. Mm. Interesting, right. in interesting things that we never knew about each other, right? Yes. That's what these live sessions are for, right? Yeah. I got a lot I more interesting questions to ask. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't really collect art supplies though. Mm. Mm. Uh, I, I collect sketchbooks only, I think. I think the rest of the art supplies are like sort of like hit and miss, you know, you just take them and use them. And then I'm trying to drain all my pens because I don't keep them around for so long. Yeah, so the, I think the only thing that I kind of keep uh, in terms of art supplies are sketchbooks because I have so many that I uh, started. After, after you draw, so you become handloom, right? Because it's like, uh, it's your art design. Maybe we have to digitize it, how about that? 
Because mm-hmm. I think the paper doesn't keep well. Fair enough. Yeah, so that's one of the projects uh, we have, uh, Susan and I, uh, to come, I think. To come, uh, I think. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, not 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 con- <laughs> not fully conceptualized yet, right, Susan? Yeah. Susan is like, hello, do I want to talk about it or not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's still it's still being conceptualized, so we are not talking uh, about uh, 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 I'm not we're not giving a lot of details, lah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's a secret, secret. Okay. How, How far along are we though? with our tiles? Susan, what are you doing? I'm doing a frame. Okay. A border. Is it mm. just a single line frame? I'm still not sure. Mm. Mm. Maybe you leh. What? Me what? Wow, you're so like a literal bouquet. Susan's mm. also what? Yeah, I like mm. Susan. Mm. Susan looks like a modern art. Susan looks like a person. No, no, Susan. <laughs> Susan's child. <laughs> Don't like that lah. <laughs> yeah, this is what child. I mean by she has to work on her communication. <sighs> okay, I think I think we have enough time for one more question. Let's see. Huh? Are we almost mm. done? Oh, then I better get shaving, man. I, I'm still like mm, enjoying the feel slow. Susan, just now you said the reason why you joined Seven F I R Studios. Oh dear. You like you like you like us, right? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you won't Uh-oh. join. What? What? <laughs> what? What? What do you look for in friendships? Oh dear, it's such a tough question. What I look for in friendship? <laughs> Don't know. Eh, I just no, like. Right, right, right. I, I, I actually, actually, I, I feel that I do not have so called a sixth sense. Some people they ah. say that okay, my yeah, sixth sense is very sensitive. Ah, uh, we can. It's it's very sensitive, so they can. You know, uh, like, but what? Can sense both? Yeah, ghosts. No la. <laughs> <laughs> They got they got a good good um neck for telling people's personalities or whether they are a good person. Mm. But I I'm not thing. good in that. So mm. uh, I I would say that in friendship, I will mm. not. Uh, get so close to a person in very short time. I need mm. more time, more time. To, to know a person. Yeah. So I'm not that those kind of uh, very uh, real thing kind of people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very slow one. Somehow. I'm very slow kind of no. no. <laughs> <laughs> and very everything is very slow. To all our international viewers, we're sorry for so many uh, mentioned just <laughs> So so uh, I am also not sure that what makes me to I uh, don't know. Yeah, eh. why, why do cannot you, cannot explain. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> why why do you message me? Because <laughs> I think that's how we started talking, right? Oh um, yeah, yeah. The first time I messaged uh, Debbie is because my CCT AE 2020, my kids uh, have, need to pay the tax. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's how Susan came with our lives, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Tax. So it's yeah. like the fault the of tax. Uh, the customs tax and the customs office. You see what yes. you've done. Yeah. Mm. Until this, today, this, I still. These two idiots. <laughs> Until today, I still very feel very un, uh, very not balanced because Apple who is in KL. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Apple, 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 the Apple, 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 she in KL taking the parcel, taking flight, taking flight to KL without tax. Then the one from Singapore to JB is by land. Supposed to be cheaper, right? But I have yeah, to yeah. pay the tax. Yeah. Sure. So okay, that's the beginning it's of okay. the friendship. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You you lose tax money, <laughs> but you gain a friendship, two friendships. So it's it's it's, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Worth it. Worth it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you sad? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I very thick skin. Yeah, Debbie, you then? What do you look for in friendships? Uh, I 
don't know, man. I didn't look for either of you, actually. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> I, I forced my way into your life. I want to offline now. <laughs> yeah, man. I want, I want refund. <laughs> Let me want refund. Well, you asked me what I look for, but I wasn't looking. So, that's, I, I, that's I, the answer as well. I, I think um, most people don't look for friendships. Uh, but it's like, when you meet someone, how do you decide? Like, what traits do they have that make you decide? Can this person actually be someone that I want to have in my life for the long term? Actually, right, when I got to know Steph better, so I met Steph yeah, in 2015. What's going on? <laughs> right, so I met Steph in 2015, right? So that one, that one wasn't uh, really me looking for anybody because I was just organizing like the the first ever uh, get together that um, the Singapore uh, Zentangle teachers um, mm-hmm. were just going to sit down and sort of like coffee and talk and stuff. And I've got no coffee also, like, right? But we just sat there okay. and talk, right? So yeah. And that's how I met, uh, that's how I met Stephanie and Joni actually. So... I wasn't actually uh, having anything in mind because, uh, you know, we just, we just planned to get together. And I remember you gave us a hug right? before you left. Oh, is it? Yeah. So, so do I regret? I don't know. Maybe, yeah. I'm being, should I take back that hug? What? Yeah, yeah. Take, take so much back. problem. Yeah. <laughs> what? what hard for so, you? So basically, that was the first time I met her. And then the second time I met her, right? She basically ate so much. My Stop. Goodness. Yeah, no, I'm not joking because I don't eat so much like on a typical day. So basically, I think the first day I met her, right, I think she, she ate so much that it was probably two of my meals combined. It's, eating is a social activity. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't say anything. Like, that's how we ended up here. Like. I conned her into having a friendship with me. <laughs> then Susan also kind of conned. Now she's stuck eating sourdough bread for me. <laughs> it's awful. I, Don't I, be my I friend. I, very bohua, yeah. very not worth it. Yeah. No, I ask her for ask her for the holographic stamps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no la, so so I wasn't entering into being a CCT uh to look for friends la, basically. Mm-hmm. But it, it came it just it just happened that um becoming a CCT sort of um uh, exploded my life socially, you know, I was very happy by myself actually. But, but well, you know, it's like no turning back, right? I mean, how, how do you undo all, all of this, right? So gradually, I found that um, a lot of CZTs, um, I think also at that point in time when we entered the CZT sphere, um, there were a lot of uh, things going on where mm. they were trying to find their footing, I think. So a lot of it, um, it's not as open as you would see now where people have like live classes or live uh, tangling sessions, you know. It's more uh, of like very close in the sense that, you know, if you are broadcasting to your students, then it's your students only, you know. Um, mm. Freebies were not so uh, advanced yet. We didn't have like PDF uh, challenges to begin with, um, you know. So stuff like that, lah. it wasn't that... Uh, isn't that it's not that it's not that YouTube didn't exist. YouTube already existed, but it kind of was uh is it um, vacuum every man? every person for his, himself or herself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's kind of like um you don't really uh get to socialize as much because uh everyone has their gut up. So I think I don't think I'm answering the question very well, but I also never tried to look for friends, la, basically. Mm. So that is one area of my life that I've never struggled with. Uh, I'm, I'm saying this very humbly, of course, because I'm very grateful for people that I've met uh, through my work, uh, through my work as a CDT, through my career uh, before being a CDT. Um, yeah, so I, I never set out to meeting anybody, la, basically. And uh, I, I think, I think also um, maybe it's this this idea that you know whoever is um, you encounter on your path has a reason for being there. Uh, of course, I haven't discovered why I encountered Stephanie la, but that's that's another story for another. So bad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 
I also haven't discovered why I met Susan. So, yeah. So bad also. It's not a bad thing. But it's not that no, I'm just teasing thing, you. I'm just teasing <laughs> you. Right. Yeah, I mean, just haven't discovered doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's just haven't yeah. discovered lah. Yeah, so. I guess, I guess sometimes the best things happen when you are not actively looking. You know? Yeah. And okay. also when yeah, and also when Susan uh came to Singapore, she also didn't know uh what was in store for her. She still doesn't know actually, right? I just want to kepo, try to help. <laughs> busy body, kepo means busy body. Mm, busy body, yes, busy body. Mm. Because in the CCTAE twenty twenty, both of them seem very busy and with all the packaging, all those things. Yeah, so I'm um, busy body lah. So come mm. and ask. Anything in my help? Yeah. And now she's stuck with us. Want to want to refund? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. And 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 of course, um, CCTAE also has a lot of very strange like ways to operate lah because it's it's not like any other uh event, you know. So so there are things that we have to consider that, uh, because it's not our money, right? It's not our money. It's not uh, it's not basically about us. So it's kind of a very different uh, event. You don't just do whatever you want. Uh, so it's kind of like a eye opener for most people who come on board the first time, especially. Uh, and then also we were terrified of overworking her, so we did not give her a lot of work. Do you remember no, that? No, she regret. No, because <laughs> now she's a partner, so uh, she got no choice. Afraid of I'm running out. Uh. Yeah, I mean. For me, I shall answer the question now. For me, yeah. <laughs> before I forget, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, me, yeah. I look for honesty. Uh, <laughs> hey, yeah, well, that's secondary. <laughs> but I mean, before that, that's not not wrong. Uh, but but before that, I think more so is more that um, I look for honesty. I remember like long ago. Debbie used to say, you know, if you cannot count on your friends to tell you the truth, then who can, who will tell you the truth, you know? So, your friends are not people who, like, talk nice things to you, say, like, oh, whatever you do is great, it's beautiful, whatever you do is awesome. Like, yeah, you want to find people that uplift you, but there's a difference between a, a person that is for you, like, they, they want to see the best uh, that you can possibly do and a person that's just agreeing with you for the sake of agreeing with you right sometimes you're out think, ugly uh, ugly uh, yeah. sometimes yeah, you're yeah, yeah, stupid yeah. stupid no no, stupid, no, no, <laughs> no, no sometimes, sometimes because of our need for validation uh, mm. we rely on the wrong people mm. uh, so so then we give them the chance uh, to ruin our lives you know accidentally as mm. if we accidentally give them the, the power, power over us that, and then you know it's like after that, we realize, you know, well, this person is really, you know, a real mm-hmm. jerk, right? Yeah. Or something, right? Uh, mm-hmm. It's happened to us as well as a team. So, uh, we kind of, I mean, we, we walk what we talk, lah, basically. Because, seriously, if, if, if someone cares about you, the person will be honest with you. Yeah. That is, that is something that I've always told Stephanie. Every time when we quarrel, right? Uh, I always give it to her uh, in terms of honest uh, opinions, you know. Because if you, if your friend cannot be honest with you, then you expect your enemy to be honest with you. Why will, why will your enemy be honest with you, right? They want to see you uh, suffer. They don't, they don't want you to grow. Yeah, they don't want you to get any bigger. They don't want you to get any better, right? So why would they be honest with you? They will be the in Chinese, least, uh, you know. Mm. In Chinese, we say jia xin jia yi, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? We have like the fake intentions. Yeah, so you know, friendship. I think number one thing I look for is honesty. Yeah, then yeah, I think it ties in with like um people being genuine. So how do you trust a person that's not honest, right? Yeah. Let's just start from there. Lah. Let's just start from there. How do you trust? If a person cannot be honest uh, about themselves, you know, cannot be honest with you, it's just it's just like dating a guy, right? Why would you date a guy who constantly lies to you? You won't, what? There's no trust, mm. right? Yeah. 
or dating a girl. What's oh, yeah, whichever way. <laughs> Alright. Do you all want to talk about your tiles before we do closing? I see you all have chosen to add colours. Well, if I don't add colour, I'm going to be very slow, so I have to add colour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How you add your green? Eh? I found my green a little bit messy. <laughs> oh, I, also I, I, I think I still, mm, I still need some time to to adjust it. Oh, uh, yeah, adjust yes. But I like the moonberry stock that you added. This is very cute on the edge. The oh, one that? Edge. It looks nice. Mm-mm. Nice. Then, then you and Debbie, the color kind of matchy matchy, bluish green what? kind of feel to it. Oh, I'm just using what I have. That's why. So Your <laughs> every week, Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> so I think for all the Instagram live sessions, it's been the same. A bluish purple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Susan, you started with a what gray towel? Is it? No, it's a it's a white towel. Yeah. Twenty size is it? Mm, yes, a fancy size. So today mm. we both Susan is three, at her dining three of us. Table. Susan huh? is a what? Susan is at her dining table. Oh, Susan said that. No, now can tell <laughs> where table. she is. Yeah. Because we went to visit <laughs> yesterday. Oh, no secret anymore. <laughs> no secret anymore. Yeah. Then Debbie, you did like a what? quite regular yeah. towel. No, these are apprentice. Oh, so all using apprentice towel today. Okay. Well, with this uh, string, right, you can actually use a regular lug, but you have to draw very small. Yeah, man, uh, tiny, man. Yeah. I still try to draw very small. Very small. Like, this, this one, you really need a zero one. And then, if I want to demo this, uh, I don't think anyone can see it, what I'm doing. You need to tilt your towel a bit down, Debbie. There we go. Like oh, that. Too far so down, too demo- far down. Ah. Yeah. Okay, Wait, if I demo it. this, right, you see how, yeah. how close I have to go to the camera, right? Just to show you the thing. If I demo the zero one ten uh with something like that, right? I think I think no one can see what I'm doing. Mm. That's too small. Mm. Yeah. Then I think I think for Steph, right? Hers is very colorful already. So she she already uh minimized uh you know her her effort. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah then I was time. like, we still have the colour, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like giving us all the very different questions to, un- to answer. Hey, I also have to answer. Uh, okay, okay, answer some more. No, man. I think there's a lot. Yeah, some more, some more. Some more already. Yeah. Some more already. Tired yeah. already. Yeah, but well, thank you guys so much for joining us for this, what, past hour, hour 20 minutes. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, so this is for uh, this week's free for all challenge for 7F5R challenge on the group on Facebook. You can search 7F5R challenge on the Facebook app or you can visit this link bit.ly slash fb7f5r. Uh, the account that I'm currently using is at 7 Forest 5 Rivers. A recording of this session will be available in full on this account. I am halfpan underscore will draw. I'm joined by Debbie, tangled.pursuits, and Susan, Susan, you dot CZT. Yeah, we'll be back I next week. I have a question with... for you, Steph. You know, let me finish. We'll be back next week with the fragment of your imagination <laughs> challenge 2022. <laughs> it starts this weekend, so please remember to download the handout. Yeah, and uh, join us for one fragment each day of the month for the month of January 2022. Yeah, yeah Debbie, please go ahead. What? Yeah, your step out is very nice. Why don't you upload your step out? Okay, can. Where? Yeah, where? Is photo. It? It's gone. Yeah, here. Yeah, here, here. Here it is. Yeah. Oh. So for those of you who yeah, just joined us, I think you should upload it so that people can actually see all the step outs oh. on one page. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be so handy for, those- for everyone. For those of you who have just joined us, basically this week is more of like um, we've chosen the tangles. You can choose your own tangle and uh, create your own towel, but we've chosen these four tangles and this tucker string that we chose for us. So if you want to draw something similar to us, yeah, please go ahead and do that. Tag us on Instagram. We'll love to see what you've created. You can see the three of us did very, very different tiles even though we had a similar prompt. Our bouquet of flowers is made up of uh, very different flowers from all around the world. Yes, yeah, it was a fun, it was a fun little tangling session. Thank you so much for joining us live. For those of you who joined us, 
Oh, Susan, Susan is almost done. Green, green. She green, green yeah. everywhere. Yes. I green, feel like green. mine is very far off. Like, like heaven. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm very slow. Luca. Susan, yours? Yeah, yours also have Luca. I think like, the instinct is, Holly. is to add. Holly's. Holly's, yeah. Okay, okay, Holly's. Mine also Holly's. Uh, Holly's Muka is... Holly's is just skinny Muka lah. Can lah. Same lah. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. Same family. Mm, same it's family. Same family lah. But it's different. I think they got this like urge, this instinct to use Holly's or Muka. This is like a bouquet bouquet. Yeah. So... Uh, do you want? Do you guys want to say goodbye to everyone who's joining us live and watching the recording? The close and closing words. Mm. Especially Debbie. Well, thank you for spending like the last. I think it's been fifteen, 15 sessions. Fifteen. Wow, so 15? Probably fifteen. Fourteen, like. I think. Fourteen. Fourteen mm. or fifteen. Yeah. Mm. So we've had like so many sessions already. Um, mm. It feels like yesterday we started actually. Um, you know, kind of like I'm sure where this will take us, and also all the tech issues and you know figuring out as we go what works for us, you know, and of course the two young kiddos who take their naps regularly so they won't disturb their moms. Yeah, so the whole team is involved, even the kiddos. Yeah, their job is just to nap, right? Yeah, yeah, very important job. Yeah. Very important job. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and of course our husbands who also support us and what we do. Like sometimes they kill in as well. Um, I think I saw the new. Very... Yeah, I saw him, but he told me that he actually he told me that his uh his boss needed him to run some errands, mm. so I didn't expect him to actually be able to connect at all. Mm. So um, yeah. So what was I? What I was saying something that I can't remember. Well, yeah, it's been a really eventful year. So it's been a very uh. It's been very good that we actually managed to sort of come together every week. I hope we can continue this for a long time. I think someone is at the door at the studio. Yes. Sorry. Oh. I so what door was that? Uh, a mistaken address. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Susan, any closing words to wrap up? Maybe this session we wrap like up the year. Filming in session, sort of a signboard, and then uh, please pick yeah, out maybe. the door when, when we're maybe. actually filming. Because maybe. we have our student in a light industrial building, so sometimes yeah. they kind of like come and go. Yeah. And it's quite, yeah. quite disruptive, especially when we are actually trying to have a class. Susan, you want oh, to? Oh, yeah, Susan has a class that's coming up. She's in your class. She's in your class? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? For Chinese New Year, Susan has this uh thing that she's hosting, right, with a couple of other CDPs for Chinese New Year that starts next week. Can I advertise, man? Yeah, why not? <laughs> she's 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 me. Me. Yeah, yeah. She's so I'm not there. Mm. Mm. No, because Steph, <laughs> Steph's success, yeah. She, she's saying her success is everything that we did. How can you? Okay, never mind. <laughs> this, 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 like, yeah, Susan, Susan, you, so. you hit your you you do your plug in, your shout out. How do we find okay, the so, information for the class? Uh because I think in the Instagram they are not allow me to do the, the insert the link. Yeah, link. So actually mm. I have, yeah. So I have the link in my Facebook page. Oh you can uh, put there it as a story. Yeah. You know, so in your yeah, yeah. I, I try to uh, I put it in story. Yeah, few few day. I think last week I put it as story. Then there's a link. Uh, but the one is uh, in Mandarin. So for those who can understand Mandarin, maybe you can maybe you can join me, join mm. us. And um, together with the other two CCT, uh, which is uh, Fiona Lim from Kuching, and also Lee Gaitlan from uh, Cheras. Yeah, mm. we are three of us are going to to have the class together. We're actually from the CCT uh, Asia 2 in Taiwan. So we actually meet there. Yeah. So oh. now we conduct the class together. It's a very, uh, very fun thing. Actually, we've already gone through one, one course that in November and December. So the mm -hmm. coming one is in January. Mm. Yeah. Okay, but so I, the last I word to everyone. To uh? Yeah, I will try yeah to please, please come. <laughs> yes. Mm. 
Maksudnya, so, wishing maksudnya. everyone have a very good 2022 mm. and stay safe. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. We'll see you again next week, which will be a new year. Uh, same time, Wednesday, 2.45 p.m. Singapore time. Come with a tile and a pen and then we'll, we'll tangle together. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Bye. Bye.